Hey, what's up, cakes? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, aloha, welcome. My name is Ashley, and today, as you guys read the title above or below, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. So it's been about a year or over a year actually since I highlighted my hair at home, and my hair was really long before, and I got it cut like when I first moved back. Or no, not when I moved back when I was visiting home because I just recently moved back to Hawaii. So, I mean, my hair was a lot longer than what it is right now. And I have really thick hair. And, I mean, I still have blonde. I don't know how I still have this blonde. I'm, like, really over it. And I just want something fun. So, I've been telling my boyfriend, like, I really want to just have purple hair. But the last time I had colorful hair, it lasted about a month and I got over it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. If it does, it'll be fine. I'm going to be using the Arctic Fox hair dye. I got this at Ulta just because I had a coupon for it. It was like 20% off rather than just getting at Sally's. I have my mixing bowl and a brush as well as some gloves. But the color I'm going to be using is called Purple as Fuck. Um, it's supposed to be like a really dark, deep purple. So, I mean, obviously it's not going to be that much of a difference, I feel like, on my hair. Just because if you look at my hair, it's pretty dark in itself. Um, naturally, I have dark brown hair that can get light. Oh my god, I just got it all over. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to just wipe it on here. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to stain. That's going to stain. Fail already. Fail. Um, but I didn't want to bleach my hair anymore because the last time I did, like when it, when I did my hair, the highlights, it took me like a whole day. I think I bleached it two or three times and my hair was fried. And I'm just trying not to do that. What? I'm, dry, uh, I'm trying not to do that this time around. Ashley, get it together. So, I mean, I only have one bottle, so hopefully this is going to be enough for my hair. And yeah, so... Let's go ahead and start. I already brushed my hair before I started filming this. So I have no real technique of how I'm doing this and I don't have any hair clips. I just have one hair tie. But I am going to try to section it and hopefully I have enough hair dye. Hopefully it'll do something to my hair. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to do something to like the highlighted parts just because that part is the lightest part of my hair. I'm just going to brush the bottom half of my hair. And I'm going to go ahead and put some Vaseline around my hairline so it doesn't stain. Hopefully this doesn't break me out. And um, I've only used permanent hair dye before. Like, I had my hair done professionally done at the salon when I had my mermaid hair. I'll go ahead and pop up a clip right now of it, of how it looked like before, like years ago, and I miss it. But that cost me a lot of money to do, and I'm not really prepared to drop that because last time it, I got over, like, pretty fast. So, I mean, at least the one I'm using now is semi-permanent, so it's going to... Um, wash out eventually or so I've heard so I'm starting off with clean hair just because every other video I watched they said to start off with clean hair um just shampooed hair and not conditioned hair because you want your hair follicles to be open for the semi-permanent dye to penetrate or get into your hair follicles just because I'm not using a developer um this one you don't need so I mean I'm just going to pour it in here. It smells good. Mmm, it smells really good. So hopefully I don't get this all over the floor. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. I'm just going to go ahead and run this with my fingers and saturate my hair. Might just be easier that way. And then maybe like the hairline, I'll do um the brush this smells so good so like i've only ever used like fashion colors from obviously the salon when i had it done and then when i wanted to retouch the um 
the hair because it faded like really really fast okay sorry I don't know what's going on with my sectioning but like if you guys know me like I don't have patience for hair like I'll do a full face of makeup before you see me doing my hair okay so this is how I'm looking like right now I definitely do not have enough hair dye I'm not too worried about the root area if I don't have it's fine like my natural hair color is dark anyway so hopefully it turns out I have like hair dye everywhere I still have some left so I am just trying to slap it on make sure at least the blonde parts of my hair is saturated I want the ends especially to be saturated just because that's where the highlights are and that's where the purple would be more prominent anyway or I feel like it would be because it's a lighter I'm gonna go for the back I mean I think I got majority of my hair saturated so what I'm gonna do is just try not to get this all over my face is the first thing so that's what I'm doing let me just kind of get the front of my face probably a bad idea I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm doing guys I'm not a professional clearly you see all this pain on me okay guys so this is it I use that entire bottle I just put my hair up in a bun I I think I got a majority of it saturated. This is the aftermath. I have it all over my arms. So I'm just gonna put a baggie on it because I need to do stuff around the house and I don't want this to get everywhere. So I don't know how I'm, gonna, how I'm supposed to do this. So like this. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna tie it. I'm probably gonna DoorDash lunch because I can't go out looking like this. Um, I'm gonna leave it on for about an hour. I need to figure out where I'm washing this up because I do not wanna stain the tub and this is already staining my hands. I got it on my feet and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it on for an hour, wash it out, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Alrighty guys, so it's been two days since the last clip you guys had seen me. Um, after the one hour was up and I had it in the bag, I think I filmed that. I'm not too sure, it's been two days already. Um, I left it on for an hour and then I washed out the color outside in the yard with a hose just because I didn't want it to stain our bathtub. And as you guys can tell, like my fingers are still stained from two days ago and my palms are like all purple i even had it on my foot i was trying not to get it on the carpet which i didn't thank god um but i know it looks really dark on this camera right now especially with i guess the camera that i'm filming i'm filming on a sony zv1 i tried going outside i'll try to throw that clip in now if it was a fail you guys are going to see that it's a fail um i did try to take some pictures on my phone to see like a better like idea of what's going on and I'll try to like throw it up on the screen instead of showing you guys like that um, basically all that you're gonna really see is a slight tint of purple just because the color of my hair was naturally dark other than the highlighted areas I'm pretty sure if I bleached my hair again or gave myself more blonde highlights and then threw this color on you would see a lot a little bit more of the purple but the purple I got was Arctic Fox purple AF and it's a darker plum purple which I wanted I didn't want anything bright so I mean I'm curious to see how this is gonna fade out I'm pretty sure it's just gonna wash out because it's a semi-permanent but I do want to say I do like the Arctic Fox hair dye I'm not too sure of the lasting part just because it's been three days only and I haven't washed my hair yet um, but what I like about it is the scent of it was really really nice it was doable normally whenever you're coloring your hair it always smells like chemicals and just fumes 
and it's very unbearable to go through most of the time but this one was really really nice and what I liked about it too was that my hair feels really soft from what I know it has a lot of vitamins and like conditioner in that hair dye so it's kind of like a conditioning treatment while you kind of tint your hair so I really like that so I think like if you really want a vibrant color of like what you're going for definitely bleach your hair obviously so you can get that color payoff but I mean I just kind of wanted a little bit of a tint I did stain like my scalp area um, in the sun though yes I'm telling you there's like a nice purple tint to it I really really like it Daniel really likes it um, it's just not gonna show up on camera one it's like really dark in here I'm not too sure if I put a flash on it you guys are gonna see no this camera is just not doing its justice like, can you see anything probably not huh but I mean I know it's there it's just kind of hard to show you guys on camera um, I'll try to throw up some pictures that I took and hopefully it kind of shows you a little bit of a tint but yeah I really enjoyed it I mean it was kind of hard doing it by myself especially like at the back parts like I got to the point where I just had it in my palms and I was just massaging it all over my hair I'm pretty sure I would not be able to do that if I was actually bleaching it so I mean this was a lot easier than bleaching last the bleaching process I did last year but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys haven't yet already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you guys can join the cupcake ohana and I'll see you guys in the next video bye